Hello, Bethany here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making these cute striped coin purses. They're perfect for keeping your change together and accessible in your purse. Um, be sure to check the description. I have um, a lot of information down there. I have the yarn that I'm using, links to the yarn, the hooks. Um, I also have links to my social media if you want to follow me and uh, see, get inspiration. And if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos for useful and cute crochet items. So let's get going. Okay, so to make these <clears throat> striped coin purses, we're going to need three colors of medium weight yarn. These two are going to be my stripes and then that's going to be the flap on top. And then you're going to need a four millimeter hook. And I'm going to start with my gray. myself a little slack here and you're gonna start with a chain eight then you're gonna work three single crochet in the second chain from the hook work them gingerly if you can so you don't stretch that chain out too much. Then work five single crochet, one in each chain. Then work three single crochet in that last chain. And then that's going to kind of bring you around to the other side of the chain. So work five single crochet down the other side of the chain, <clears throat> going, <clears throat> working into each chain. And then join with that first single crochet. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. I've got a frog in my throat that won't go away. <clears throat> okay, starting the second round, you're gonna work a you're gonna work two single crochet in the next three stitches. So there's two. One, two, one, two. And then work five single crochet and then work two single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, one, two. One, two, and then work five single crochet down the other side. Okay, so you're gonna actually you're gonna join this round with the second color, and I like to I like to use the second color to to join with a slip stitch. So it's kind of a more seamless way of doing it. Pull everything tight. Okay, then chain one. Now you're going to work one single crochet in each stitch around with the second color. Okay, and then we're going to join this round with the gray. <clears throat> so we're going to be alternating. So you just pull this color up and then grab it to work your slip stitch. And chain one. And 
then single crochet in each stitch around. So you're just going to alternate going back and forth between the gray and the white, working one single crochet in each stitch around, and you're going to work you're going to repeat that until you have 11 total rows. So we are this is 1 2 3 we're starting on 4 and you're going to need 11 total rows. So work 11 11 rows and then meet me back here. Okay, so I just finished row 11 and now I'm going to switch back to gray my first color and on this last round and on this last round we're gonna make the little loop and you can you can um, you can omit this row if you're not intending on putting it on your key ring but if you are intending to put it on your key ring then we're gonna work this little loop so you're gonna chain one single crochet in the same stitch and then you're going to single crochet 20 more times for a total of 21. So we're single crochet almost all the way around. And then chain 8. And then single crochet in that last stitch. And then join with the slip stitch with that first single crochet. So there's the main part. And there's that little loop that you can put it on your key ring. Okay, so now we are going to start the flap. Okay, so now we are starting the flap. So we're going to be working from the inside. So orient your, your pouch like this. And we're going to start four stitches to the right of the join. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, right there. So we're gonna chain one, we're gonna single crochet five, Now we're going to skip the loop, and the best way I found is to kind of fold it out so that you get it out of the way. And then we're going to work a single crochet in the next stitch, so this one. And it makes kind of a gap there because you skip the stitch, but just kind of pull it tight. And then single crochet four. And then that you can see will makes the, the foundation for the flap on the on the back of the pouch. So now we're gonna turn, and you're gonna chain one, single crochet in each stitch across. turn and then you're going to repeat that row of working a single crochet in each stitch across three more times until you have a total of five pink rows. So complete those, row, those rows and we will move on. Okay so there's our five rows so I'm going to turn and then for row six we're going to start the row with a single crochet decrease and then single crochet six. And then single crochet decrease in the last two. Turn, chain one, work a single crochet decrease in the beginning over the first two stitches. Single crochet four.
and then work a single crochet decrease over the last two stitches. Turn, chain one, single crochet decrease, chain three, one, two, three, skip two stitches, and then work a single crochet two together the last two stitches. So there is the flap. So we're going to give it a nice pretty edge by single crocheting down the side. So you can do this kind of loosely. Um, I'll just work one more in that same stitch. And then you're not working into stitches so it just kind of it just kind of goes wherever you can get it to work. And then you're going to continue working a row across the top of the last gray row. And then of course you'll know, crochet up the other side of the pouch, or of the flap. And then slip stitch with the top of the single crochet two together that we started with. And you can clip your yarn and weave in your ends. So you got a couple ends in there, you gotta weave in. And then you just finish it with a button. So you would sew a button right there. So let's grab a button. Okay, so we have this cute button. I really love wood buttons. <clears throat> and you want to sew it so that um, the flap is snug. Because if it's snug, then it will keep your change in place. And I I use, I actually use my, my pouch. I keep it in my purse and I keep all of my change in it. And I can take it and shake it like this and none of the change comes out. So just make sure that it's nice and snug. And then sew it in place with your needle and thread. And then once that is snug, you can clip your ends. And your adorable little pouch is ready for use. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed making these cute little coin purses. Um, they're a great idea for like if you're doing a craft fair or something to whip up a couple of them and have them. Um, if you liked the video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye!